Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Job Help Hotline. Uh, I'm here with Greater West Town Training Partnership, and my name is Don Jiba, and I have a special guest with me here today, Charlie Negron. He is one of the instructors, the woodworking instructors with our program. And one question I want to ask you is, do you or maybe you know someone who is looking for a new career? Uh, maybe you're a creative person. Maybe you like working with your hands. Uh, maybe you've worked many different types of jobs and just have not really had the opportunity to really get a good foot in the door and you're looking for a new career. And if you're that creative type of person who's thoughtful and likes working with your hands, we have the program uh, for you at Greater West Town Training Partnership. It's a 15-week wood products manufacturing training program. And Charlie is one of the instructors here, and I just want, uh, well, thank you for being here, first of all. <laughs> oh, thanks for having me here. So, tell me a little bit about what you do for the organization. Well, I am one of the instructors. I've been with the training program for about close to two, two decades now. Mm -hmm. And my job is basically uh, to teach the students how to use the machines that you might see in a typical woodworking shop to make parts for furniture and cabinetry. Um, it's a pretty well-rounded training program also, so the things that we're also teaching is like math, blueprint reading, we're doing some English skills, um, okay. computer. Um, um, we'll teach them how to use computers and softwares uh, that we'll use during training for CNC equipment or maybe 3D modeling. So there's a lot of cool stuff that we'll teach the students. And again, all encapsulated with the goal of getting people placed on the job afterwards. Okay, okay. So this program, how long is it? It's 15 weeks long. 15 weeks? Yep. Okay. And we run Monday through Fridays from 8 to 2.30 in the afternoon. And um, we don't have any weekend or evening classes. Okay, okay. And I just want to put our uh, information up on the screen here. Uh, Greater West Town Training Partnership. We are located at 500 North Sacramento Boulevard. Uh, in Chicago, Illinois, that's in the East Garfield Park neighborhood. Our number there is also on the screen, 312-563-9570. And uh, we're also on Facebook. And we have new classes that are going to start up uh, January of 2020. So there's a lot going on with that. So what are some of the requirements to join this program? Uh, um, there's really four. Mm -hmm. um, so a person has to be at least 18. Okay. Um, they need to test at a sixth grade uh, level, math and reading. Okay. Uh, they need to be low income in order to qualify for funding. That's the most important part. Um, what we want to do is make sure that the, um, the cost for training doesn't come out of their pocket. So mm. when I'm saying low income, um, they could be on unemployment or public aid, or maybe they are a family of four and under a certain income bracket that would qualify for, uh, them for that type of funding. And then the last requirement is that they uh, need to be able to pass a drug screening. Okay, okay. And um, so you mentioned they have to test at a sixth grade reading and math level. Mm -hmm. Do you need your GED or diploma? Uh, no, not a fan. I mean, it's always encouraged to okay. have those things uh, coming in, but as long as they're able to um, test at that sixth grade level, we, we do want to make sure that they're going to be able to handle some of the coursework. Um, this type of field is a little bit um, math intensive okay. in the respect that, you know, you, you need to learn how to look at measurements and kind mm -hmm. of break down stuff. So if you're looking at a table that's 36 inches or making a cabinet that's 36 inches, 24 on a shelf, right, you're going to need to kind of do a little bit of math, mm -hmm. right, to kind of um, understand how to break that cabinet down to its c basic components. Okay. Right? So, okay. Um, so, yeah, you know, things of that nature. So we'll deal with, with you know, basic um, addition, subtraction, mm. fractions, um, you know, some division, a little bit of algebra. Um, but for the person out there that might be freaking out, oh, my gosh, math, I wouldn't worry <laughs> about it. We really have great instructors that, you know, give you um, a good foundation. Okay. Um, and we've seen people come in with low grade levels and kind of, you know, um, max out okay, um, okay. on grade levels and stuff coming to the training oh, program. Wow. So and then we've had people uh, get so encouraged and stuff, they went out and grabbed their GEDs and stuff like that um, while they were in training and also, so oh. which which is nice. So you, you actually help people who are interested, if they want to get their GED, they can... They can do that yeah, while they're training? Yeah, that's one of the components of they're interested in kind of grabbing their GED while they're coming to the training program. We'll help encourage that and kind of uh, 
bring them along that way also. Okay. I want to put up some pictures. We have some images from the shop here. And uh, can you just talk us through a little bit about, about some of this, what we have? Here? Yeah. So right now, um, there's a... One of the last projects that the students work on, um, these projects, they students get to take home when they're done. Mm -hmm. um, this project is fairly complicated, what you're seeing here. Um, it, I mean, I'm putting in a couple of screws, but the whole process of bringing this together, um, you're doing, dealing with uh, processing raw lumber. We're looking at veneer work. We're talking about programming CNC equipment with this. Okay. And okay. the last component that they're doing, they just finished, in this picture, they just finished um, putting a uh, tongue oil mm -hmm. on their parts uh, just as a way to protect it. And the last thing that they're doing right now is just um, mounting some hardware. So I'm just giving uh, the one student there some pointers on a good technique so that way those screws don't go in crooked. Okay. Um, this is some of our uh, equipment that you might see. Um, this is one of the thing, one of the type pieces of equipment that if it's in the shop, most likely they have a really large shop. This mm -hmm. is a... Uh, panel, um, table saw, yeah. uh, sliding table saw, and you'll notice that we have a female there, she's cutting a 4 by 8 um, sheet good right there, and that's what it's basically made for, to cut down these uh, big uh, sheets into smaller components. Wow. So here you have that, um, that's that last project again, and you'll see the different components, you'll see the, the solid wood base, you'll see the veneer work of this project. Oh man, <laughs> And she really did a really nice job of yeah. uh, hand-picking that veneer okay. um, that she put on there. Um, so you kind of see the grain structure really nice and stuff. And once you got the, the doors on it, it's a really, really nice project. And again, you get to take these projects home. Uh, one of the things you do not see there is that they cap off this project with a uh, solid surface material, which is Corian. Okay. And so you'll see this person, uh, he finished his project. He has a... a uh, a veneer that's pretty special. It's reconstituted veneer. Oh, uh, it's man-made really, actually. Really so pretty. I kind of put that together and stuff. So he's pretty happy with that. Wow. So I do want to say we are on Twitter, and <clears throat> so we do have some social media uh, presence. You can find us at GWTTP Wood on Twitter. And uh, also, we are on Facebook. You can find us there, Facebook at Greater West Town Training Partnership. And <clears throat> I have with me here today, uh, she's a student in our current class. This is Cycle 77, and this is Tanisha Taylor. Thank you for being here. Oh, you're welcome. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hi. So, tell us a little bit about how, how did you find out about Greater West Town Training Partnership? Um, I don't live too far, so I would um, walk past sometimes, and <laughs> I would um, walk by sometimes, and I would see some of the pieces of woodwork that they would do in their window as okay. displays. Did you have any previous experience? No. In, no? No. And what do you think so far? How long have you been in, in the class? Uh, we've been there five weeks so far. Five weeks? Yes. Okay. Um, what's, what do you think about the shop? And Like, what's a typical day for you? So a typical day is getting there at 7.45, on time, all the time. Um, the first thing we do is we go into shop. Um, we get some directions sometimes, mm -hmm. or sometimes we already know what to do. And, you know, we work together to get our work done. Okay. And what are you working on now? Like, what are some of the things? We are working on some small boxes. I don't know what I want to call them, Charlie, you know the name? Um, we're working on some small boxes. Uh, we're just learning how to use some of the equipment that's in there, like the saw table, the miter saw, mm -hmm. um, the sliding saw table, an edge bandage, you know, a few things that we would need to use to get that piece of going. Okay. And how about the math? I know Charlie mentioned something about the math not being hard. Is it, what do you think about that? The math. Um, it's good. It's mm -hmm. a refreshment. I previously learned it before in high school. Um, I feel like I'm understanding it better since I'm applying it towards something. Okay. Um, we use the math a lot. The fractions. I know a lot of people don't like fractions, but fractions is good because if you don't know it, you won't be able to put your wood particles together. Mm -hmm. So the math is great. Okay. And the instructor we have is very awesome as well. I really like her. And have you ever worked with 
uh, like a table saw before prior to this class? Oh, no. All no? of that is new to me. Everything okay. is new. But it's easy to deal mm -hmm. with and work with. Do you feel safe? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We got a long list of safety rules we have to go over <laughs> before we even touch it. So I do feel safe. Okay. And, yeah. Okay. And are there other women in the class with you? Um, yeah, it's a good... I want to say it's like five of us. I think it's more female than male in that class. It's, okay. Or maybe it's an even number because it's ten of us, so maybe it's five and five. So if you're wondering about, you know, if is this training for me, um, if they're women, uh, young or old, it's a very, it seems like it's a very uh, diverse and mixed group of participants in the class. No previous experience is necessary from what I've heard today. Um, they're safe. Safety is, is their biggest issue, one of their biggest concerns, as well as punctuality. You mentioned being on time every day. So once again, I want to put our number up on uh, the board here, uh, our information, Greater West Town Training Partnership, 500 North Sacramento Boulevard. Uh, we, our number is up there on the screen, 312-563-9570. Uh, also, we are starting new classes and I do want to thank you, uh, Tanisha, for being here and, and uh, sharing with us what's going on. So you mentioned something, some of the requirements, uh, Charlie. And I wanted to ask, what about people who have backgrounds? So ex-offenders? Yeah, ex-offenders. Uh, so, so backgrounds, ex-offenders. I know it's a piece of culture and stuff. Um, <laughs> so anyway, if you, if you, have, if you are an ex-offender and you have a background, mm -hmm. um, Sometimes uh, people are really um, hesitant to kind of jump into something because they just don't know. I would um, mention to the people out there that we, ex-offenders, will probably have about 20% maybe ex-offenders in a typical class. Okay. Um, and we see success uh, mm -hmm. with getting them placed on jobs afterwards also. Okay. So I would say, you know, if you're interested, give us a call first. Um, that's the first step. Um, the thing that we we'll like to do is have people call. Um, if you're interested in looking into our training program, we'll invite you in. Um, you could come in, fill out an application, we'll give a tour. Mm -hmm. um, so that way they could go in the shop and see the students working. They might see Tanisha oh, actually working on the cabinet next time if they happen to come in and they can ask her a question about, yeah. you know, um, how she felt, um, if she got the math a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> so all those things come into play. But, um, yeah, you know, if they're interested for a thing, just give us a call. So if you're out there and you're watching and you're still trying to make a decision about what to do with your life, give us a call. You can call that number right there at the bottom of your screen, 312-738-1060. Uh, that number will actually connect you to us live as we speak during this broadcast. So if you're out there watching, give us a call now, 312-738-1060, uh, that number at the bottom of your screen. And I did have a couple of other questions. Yep. So we've mentioned <clears throat> about it being friendly to people, ex-offenders, uh, people with no previous experience. Uh, there are some, you don't need your GED or diploma. What about the cost? How much does this cost, this training? It's it's quite expensive, uh -huh. <laughs> like any uh, other type of maybe even uh, you know if somebody was thinking about going to college, right? Okay. You know, you would think you know for a year of college, most likely it'd be about thirty six thousand dollars. Mm. This is only fifteen weeks, so um, if someone w were to pay for this training program, you know you, you're looking over twelve grand. Okay. Typ typical, um, but again uh, the person who's coming into a training program doesn't have to worry about paying for that.
so she's uh spray so she's spraying that and the way that uh, This is our uh, um, So one of the things that we'll do is teach our students how to use this piece of equipment. Um, this is something that you might see um, available in some shops where we're doing job placements. Um, so we want to make sure that the students are kind of aware and kind of used to some of the workflow that you might see with this type of uh, equipment. Okay. Um, nested base rod is basically you're able to do multiple different parts mm -hmm. on a large sheet of material, um, hence the name uh, nested, right? You're taking all these different parts and putting them on one large sheet. Oh, wow. Wow, that's pretty cool. <coughs> What's that there? So this is a vacuum uh, press. So they are learning how to well, they learn how to veneer uh, mm -hmm. parts, and then they'll go ahead and use the vacuum press uh, for that purpose. And here, this is the 3D modeling um, software that will teach the students how to use also. So you see a little bit of that okay. computer lab and stuff. And again, it's all kind of well-rounded. Wow. Yeah. Getting them in the shop and working on those pieces of equipment. So if you saw some of that footage, uh, not only am I hosting tonight, I'm actually one of the instructors as well in the training program. So you get math, you get job readiness, you get lots of time in the shop with hands-on instruction, you get... Um, <clears throat> and you get people like Tanisha Taylor, uh -huh. who makes teaching enjoyable. Yes, yes. Um, you know, with that enthusiasm, they come into the shop and stuff with their eyes all open and stuff, <laughs> and just kind of wondering what I can make and what what's this going to okay. lead me to and stuff. So. So, we, so we mentioned you get the training. It's at no cost. Uh, Ex-offender friendly for backgrounds. You don't need your GED or diploma. I guess one of the next questions is, what happens after the training? Like, what's the end game? So the end game is always job placement. Okay. So um, we have a really good placement rate. Mm. It's about 97%. I think that was the last average I was given by our uh, director of training. Okay. Um, okay. Somewhere in that area, which is, which is really good. Wow. Um, so yeah, um, usually around week 12, we'll start um, doing job search and we'll tell our employers about you know the current crop of uh, students who are about to graduate and stuff like that and send out resumes and um, we'll go from there. Okay. So what's that process like? Like what, someone goes through the training and you say you do have job placement services, so what does that look like? Do we, do employers call? Do we help, you know, send out resumes? What does that look yeah, like? Yeah, so what we got a mix of um, different avenues where we'll go ahead and maybe spread the word. Um, we'll do emails to em our employers. Um, okay. Letting them know that, you know, we're about to graduate a group. Um, and then we'll also, you know, talk to our students about, you know, maybe um, what they have seen out there, maybe they might do an online search. Um, I'm pretty familiar with a lot of companies, so I might just go ahead and call companies. Um, we have a companies calling us. They might hear about us through other companies. Okay. So I've had that in the last couple of years, uh, maybe about four or five new companies um, just heard about us. Um, there was a recent, um, recent company that I just uh, sent a student to that wasn't in our uh, wasn't on our radar. Mm. Uh, you might have heard of them uh, before. I can't mention the name. Okay, uh, okay. But uh, you heard about them, and you kind of passed that along to me, and I just kind of blindly just sent the resume out there, and, you know, hopefully we'll get a good response from that um, initial contact. So. Okay. So I want to put our uh, information up there on the screen again. Greater West Town Training Partnership, uh, our Wood Products Manufacturing Training Program. We're in East Garfield Park off of uh, Franklin and Sacramento Boulevard. We actually have orientations every week, usually on Tuesdays at 8.45 a.m. And we have a new class that's starting January the 21st uh, of 2020. So if you're interested, give us a call, reach out to us, 
and come in and schedule an orientation. You'll get a tour of the shop. You'll get to see uh, Tanisha in the shop as well, working on uh, whatever they'll be working on and apply. Uh, we got some other images here. <coughs> you were talking about veneer earlier, and it looks right. like, uh, yeah. yeah. So this is a process, and the way I kind of describe it is anybody's been to a meat counter, right, mm -hmm. and they're kind of <laughs> slicing ham, right? Usually, you know, you got those slices of meat. They kind of do the same technique with wood. Okay. Um, so this is a really beautiful um, stack of veneer slices that came off of that tree. And this lady is just using a kind of a book match mm. um, application. She's going to tape those pieces together, um, has a whole sheet, and then we apply that on the substrate and then press it um, to make a panel for the for you know one part of the cabinet. Okay, what's going on there? Um, this was a basic small little stool table um, that students worked on. Um, in a prior class, we haven't done this in, in a while, uh, but we use this. Uh, particular uh, object as a means for blueprint reading and kind of figuring out how things work in the first couple of days of training. Okay. And I think she's just uh, kind of just modifying her part just by doing some simple sanding um, on that same uh, object there and stuff. So she's got a good piece of light. She's got some um, sanding blocks there and um, she has a small little table leg right in the corner of right hand and stuff on the bench so oh. um, this is what identifications the students are learning how oh, actually panel products so the students there are learning how to identify a different uh, panel uh, material oh that's very important I, I guess I never you know thought about it if you don't work in this industry it looks like there are lots of different samples there right a variety yeah there's about 19 I, I believe Wow huh so musical instruments is just one of the um, five aspects of woodworking that we get uh, students placed on jobs. Um, so uh, musical instruments is one of them. So this is a harp maker. Okay. Um, this harp maker is in the city of uh, in the city of Chicago, not th not that far from where we're at. Oh wow! Um, and they supply about seventy five percent of the world's harps. Um, 75% so, of the world's harps. Right. Wow. Right. And uh, they've uh, hired quite a few students. So we got about a minute left, I'm, I'm seeing. Okay. Um, and our students are being trained on just um, typical machine use. So this is one of the biggest aspects of our training is um, getting, the, getting them to learn how to operate the machine safely, mm -hmm. um, set up operation. Um, and again, you have those students. We have a female just kind of breaking down a table saw, table saw um, putting a new blade. And these are just some of the fine pieces of uh, furniture that students right. always make um, when we get them placed on the job. So. so we are on Instagram. We are on Facebook. Thank you, Charlie. And uh, you can reach out to us, Greater West Town Training Partnership. That's our show for tonight. Thank you, Tanisha, our student guest, for being here. Thank you, Charlie, for being here. Thank you. And we'll see you the next time. Have a good day.